Want to learn how to create an irresistible offer that big clients just can't say no to? The secret is what I call prove it positioning, which is all about proving to potential clients that you can provide a huge ROI before you're paid to get them to test what you have to offer, eliminate the risk, and show them on a small scale that you can deliver the ROI that you say you can and to get them excited about scaling up your product or service in a big way across their entire organization. It's kind of like a Trojan horse to get in the door with a big name client and once they see the value and that you can actually deliver on your promises, not only does it turn them into a paid client, but they will want to scale up with you in a huge way and will be open to exploring all of your other products and services you come up with in the future. In 2018, when I started my company, Order Solutions, at the time, I had very little credibility or experience in selling to big companies. And literally out of frustration, I came up with this strategy so I could finally remove all of the risk to land a big client. What we did was we offered a free pilot to Denny's at 10 locations to prove to them that we could increase their revenue within a couple of months on a small scale. And it was incredibly successful and turned into a signed paid contract. And within a couple of months, us handling phone calls for over 500 Denny's locations all across the country. They chose us over our more experienced competitor because we were able to offer them a free 60 day pilot at just 10 stores and prove to them that the ROI was there. Our competitor wouldn't offer this. And this is how we won the deal that was not only bigger, but had more experience and more credibility in the industry. Now, here's six strategies that you can use to craft irresistible offers and win big clients. Number one, understand what businesses want. No matter what type of business you're in, whether you sell a service or a product, all businesses want to do one of the following. Businesses want to save time, increase revenue, improve the customer experience, and save money. So think about what your value prop is and which one of these do you offer to your clients. Number two, ROI or nothing. No business spends money on anything unless there's an ROI. So how can you clearly explain the ROI that your product or service can bring? And when is the expected time for the client to recoup their investment? Or in other words, how long is the payback period? The shorter the payback period, the easier the sale. Number three, pricing that fits your market. Sometimes you can have a great offer, but the pricing model just doesn't resonate with your market. For example, in my own business with Order Solutions, in the beginning, we had to completely repackage our pricing model. When I first started, I was charging $13 an hour per call center agent, and that didn't resonate at all with restaurants. So what we did was we pivoted a pricing model to something that restaurants were familiar with and something that they would understand, which was a per transaction pricing model. So we moved it to $2 per order, and that still could generate us $13 or $14 in revenue per hour per agent, the same overall revenue we wanted, but much higher perceived value for the client. Think about your current pricing model and ask yourself, is it resonating with your target market? If it's not, brainstorm on ways you could repackage it. Maybe try a per transaction model or a subscription model. I'd recommend a model that your target market is already familiar with. Remember, a confused mind never buys. Number four, position as an investment. One of my biggest breakthroughs in selling to big companies was when I was able to change my positioning from an additional cost to an investment. I've done this for saving money, I've done this for increasing revenue. Both work great because it goes back to selling ROI. Number five, Prove it or lose it. One thing you compete with on big enterprise deals is attention. Executives are constantly prioritizing and reprioritizing initiatives. But a big secret that I learned is if you want to get the attention, you've got to give something first to get the attention. Oftentimes, you and your competitors can actually lose deals because executives are just switching around priorities. So you're not just competing with your competitors, you're competing against executive priorities. 
So if you can give them a small pilot to prove there's an ROI there, not only will you get the attention, but you'll land a huge client. Number six, performance switch. Now, pilots don't just get you in the door with new clients. They also can help you get in the door with clients that are using your competitors. And this is huge. If your product or service is better and you know it's really better, you can use this strategy to handle the we already have a vendor objection. Some people call this the champion challenger approach where you basically are in stealth mode and you offer a small pilot to a company using your competitor and then prove to that company that you're better and that all of a sudden you win the deal right out from under your competitor. Even just implementing one of these strategies can help you light the flame for growth in your business. Now, if you want more help with this and you want an easy way to actually apply this in your business, I have a free resource for you. It's a free cheat sheet that breaks down how to do this step by step. You can get free instant access just by clicking the link below.